What is up, Assassination? It is Assassin4259 here, and welcome back to more of Tell Me Why. I think this will probably be the last episode because uh, this is split into chapters and everything. So I'm actually really excited to see how this ends. So that being said, leave a like for more of Tell Me Why if you guys want to see the next chapter after this. And as always, everyone, let's freaking do this. Thank you all so much for all the love and support on the first video, by the way. It really meant a lot to me. And thank you so much for all the support on the the old channel, everyone, that I brought back. I, I'm really surprised that you guys are loving, like, the vlogs and stuff. Assassination vlogs, so thank you so much. If you guys don't know about the old channel, it is back. Assassin4259 2.0 is what I renamed it. So go check it out, go subscribe, and you're missing out some, on some good stuff. I did some vlogs, so hopefully you enjoy that. Alright, let's do this. Bring it on. Damn. Let me turn on this, this real creepy quick. Mascot, huh? It's a local hero. What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's yeah. longest serving officer. Oh, it was on mute. <laughs> Oops. Alright, we're good. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. <laughs> okay, just public safety stuff. Meet me when you're done. Alright. Have fun. Meet me in the open space when you're done. Alright. Let's look at this. Nice. Can I open this? Yeah, I figured. Private. For a reason, obviously. Of course. It's locked. I want to look at this guy. I am the law. <laughs> uh, he's kind of cute. He's kind of cute. Can't go to the restroom, it looks like. Wait, what was that? Read? Read? It says read. Oh, restroom. Well... Okay, then. <laughs> home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. Let's see. It's freezing in here. Kevin Sutton, Dean Baker, or Becker. Okay. Confidential. Oh, Just leaving this out on display again. Can I have some of this? Oh, hang on. <clears throat> we got a memory. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, oh. really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. All right, here we go. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room for some What's that? Alaska only has one psych hospital, with less than a hundred beds. If anyone else ends up in distress, they go straight to jail. Damn. I didn't know that. How do you know? Aaron. He's really passionate about that stuff. I went with him to protest the Capitol building a couple of times. Huh. Aw, oh, she yawned! That was cute. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Okay. Here we go again. God, not Tyler. You coming? You coming, Tyler? Were you gonna say something? What was he gonna say? Man, I hate it that it cuts out and everything. I'm missing stuff. The del shit. Stop touching everything, Butterfingers. Sorry. Okay, it cuts out again, man. Why? You just never see it coming. Huh. Is that like an old-timey police scanner? Yeah, so cool, right? 
It had been gathering dust in a closet for years. Eddie put it out on display last year. <laughs> nerd. Nerd. What a nerd. Nerd. All right. I swear if he says something. What is this? Oh. Well, I could almost open it. Something's in the way. I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. It's the armory. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. Yep, that's what you they would call the armory. Files about Marianne in the archives? Um, archives are off limits. I don't think so. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? Maybe, maybe not. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Yo, he did not Coffee like him. Good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, he is mad. He does he still can't handle like what happens. Remember. Okay. Huh. We got keys of yeah. some sort. I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. All right, let's open this. Happy birthday. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Okay. Denise, okay. Gotcha. And there's a key right there. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Can huh. I take it? Looks like okay. she forgot her locker key here. Guess I can't take it. Examine? That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. <laughs> Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. No! Oh, Poor D. Poor D. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? She's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. She goes to the Iditarod every year, and she's got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man, I forgot what oh. kind of kooky shit people are into out here. Hey now, I'm in the league. Look at the plush. It's so cute. Sled dog race. Nice. And I'm guessing she's in it too. Alright. We got some kind of keys. I can see that. Yo, was that Jeff Gordon? You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? <laughs> it looks like Gordon from Batman. I want to play that game, by the way, before Arkham Knights comes out. Oh my gosh. Arkham Knights looks sick. And... Uh, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Oh, man. I I'm so excited for those games, yo. So excited. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's Rose's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Gross. That is disgusting. Oh. Another memory. 
But where? Is it in here? Ah, so that's what the key unlocks. Just unlocks this room. Remember! Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Huh. Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Okay. Let's Ah, uh, it cuts out again, man. Come on. There's the lockers. So, hers is one of them. Yep, it's locked. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I would know that by now. <laughs> I mean, there's a lock on it, so... They've let this place get gross. I'm not that hungry. Ew. Coffee! How is it still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well... Maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Oh. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? I kind of want to follow him. Can I follow him? Wow. First time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable he dropped a vase. Here, um, have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Oh, sorry. What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Nothing in the vase? All right. What are you looking at? Uh, this poster. I kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest, hunting for goblin treasure. Just wanted to be anywhere but here. Yeah. Okay. Anything else we can remember here? Oh, what's that? Huh. What's that back there? No A way. collectible! Have you been hiding back here all this time? Nice. Got another one. Alright. Uh, I can talk to him or anything else? Alright, I'll just talk. So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. Is that all he's gonna say? Let me try again. So, isn't yep. Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. Okay, you're the one that wanted to go in here. <laughs> oh, there was another remembering thing. Hang on. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> Hold on. There's another memory somewhere lying around. Is it in here? 
No, no, no. It's back here. The kitchen, maybe? Oh, right there. Found it. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're mm. all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Uh-oh. I wonder if Allison told the truth. You're awfully quiet. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Trying to deal, but it's a lot. I'm pretty gosh dang sure. Let's try that um key again. See if we can get that key for that locker, you know? That would make sense. She won't Take. notice if we borrow There it this, is. Right? As long as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. All right, cool. You can put it back. Good. I will definitely put it back when I'm done going to the locker room real quick. Cuz I'm kind of curious. Curiosity killed the assassin, basically. Here we go. We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but you never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. Balto came through. Nice. All right, what we got? So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. All right, what else we got? Anything else? That's it? Really? When are my 20th birthday? Hmm. Okay, looks like I can't do anything else. All right. Um, I can't look up either. That's it, I guess. Walk it back up. Good job. Well done. Well, looks like I couldn't find anything. What's on your mind? Just thinking about how we slept in that corner over there. Yeah. On that paper-thin mattress from the cell. Wow. It could have been a pillow top and I wouldn't have slept a wink. I don't know how you come here every week. I've been here ten minutes and it's already fucking me up. It does still hurt. It never really stopped hurting. Don't be weird with Eddie. Been having nightmares too. Hey. Do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah. Why? Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Yeah. I used to dream about her a lot. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal, like maybe sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson and then suddenly she would turn into Sandy and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. Don't be weird with Eddie. So are things gonna be weird at all between you and Eddie? I took the gift, Allison. I'm trying to make an effort. Thank you, I know. I just want everything to be cool. It will be. Ready to go? Let's go? Yep. All right. I really love the character hey, development is this in this. Crazy D's locker? Yes. Yep. I think so. We need a key to open it. What? I already did. Now am I going to find something if I unlock it again? No, doesn't look like it. No, we're good. We're good. That was weird. Very weird. All right, let's go. 
You already opened it, bud. Alright. Let's put it back. Put the key back where we found it. Don't want to keep it, that's for sure. I wonder what happens if you do keep it, you know? There you have it. She won't notice it. No, wait. Oh, gosh this, dang it. Right? As long as we put it back right where we found I meant to it, I meant to hit back. I meant to hit the back button. I'm sorry. Put it back. There you go. All right. Now let's go talk to Eddie. I love how we didn't even get coffee, you know? Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. Uh-oh. I forget. Tyler Ronan. Back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children of the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah, not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Marianne worried about something. What were her days like? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for... being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Uh, what were her days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Well, thank you. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed. But I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never going to tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Eddie did what... 
Oh, Eddie did his best for me. Being kept apart was wrong. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. No, oh, I don't like this. Being kept apart was wrong. I guess Eddie... Ah, uh, I guess Eddie did his best for me? I don't know. Because he was traumatized. She was traumatized because he killed her mom. So I guess Eddie did his best for me. Eddie Sorry. was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Ugh. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. Uh, I don't know how he feels about that. What the heck is that? Yo, whoa, what? What are you? Who are you? What was that? What was that? Who was that? Uh, 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 okay. Are you not gonna explain that game? Okay then. Well, cool, I guess. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Is it the same figure in the background? It is! Oh my gosh. Yo, that's the mad hunter. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! What the no. frick? Please. Oh my gosh! It was her? What the frick? I killed her. I killed her. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. Whoa. No. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's going to be okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, I almost, I almost, I almost, I almost, I almost teared up. Almost. That music, if it kept going. Oh, frick. And there you have it. That is it. 
that was the end of chapter one of Tell Me Why. Holy crap, man. Good job, Don't Not Entertainment. Wow, you almost got me. You almost got me. Ooh, that was close. That was freaking close, but I persevered. I did good. I did great. Woo! Oh, man. Thank God. Hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> you guys thought you'd see tears, huh? You almost did. You almost did, but you did not. All right. But anyways, let's talk about this first chapter. Man, dark. Really freaking dark tale right now. Like, wow. Um... I think it, like, it first starts off as, like, you know, is really, really dark, because, like, you know, uh, he says, like, Tyler says he lies, like, he, he did, he lied about killing his mother, but apparently it was Allison that did it, to save his sister, or her sister, because, yeah, that's basically what, what went down, which is crazy, because, like, that makes sense why Allison was on edge the entire time, almost. Because, like, she kept, like, you know, doing this, even, like, visiting the old house. It makes sense! It makes sense why she wouldn't want to come back, because that is the place where it all went down. She killed her mother and everything. But, wow. But now they're just trying to, I don't know, like, dig up the past and everything. And apparently they have this, like, power where they can remember things. Which is really crazy, and they can see their memories as well. Which is very interesting to me. It's very interesting, and I, I can't wait to see uh, where this leads. Good job to the actors and actresses, by the way. Uh, August Aiden Black and Erica Lindbeck. Good job. Really well done. I think it was, uh, I think it's pretty good. The acting is kind of on point, I'd say. Um, lip syncing, you know, with these type of games, lip syncing is never the best, but it doesn't matter to me, honestly, in that, in that sense, it really doesn't matter. But, it was, the gameplay is really smooth, really freaking smooth. Sometimes it's hard to, like, click on things and stuff, and then the cutting out. I just wish, like, before you clicked on something, you could, you know, uh, finish the sentence of what the person's gonna say, and then, uh, go on to the next thing. Like, it won't let you until, like, uh, they're done talking, and then you can do the next thing. That was the only thing that bothered me, if anything. But, other than that, the story is really intriguing. I can't wait to see what happens in Chapter 2. Uh, and I believe there's only three chapters? So, this is gonna be, like, a pretty short series, maybe? But, uh, cause this only took two parts. So, yeah, it was very interesting. But, um, I can't wait to see more of this, and, uh... I feel like this is definitely going somewhere. Hopefully it gets less dark and they can, like, you know, actually move on. Uh, and just, like, the relationships between the characters as well. So, like, what we saw at the end there with Chief Brown and Tyler, they did not like each other. Well, Tyler didn't really like Chief Brown because of, you know, of all of that stuff that went down with, uh, you know, putting them apart. But apparently that was the court that did that, so, yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like it was, uh, kind of cliche, but in a way, I, I felt like I made the right decision in the end. But maybe I didn't? I don't know. If I did, I'll go back and, uh, change it, but I saw, I saw the symbol, too, up there on the corner. I saw it, and it, it went, like, spread apart. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, did I just hurt Tyler? I hope I didn't hurt Tyler. Because, gosh dang it, I didn't want to hurt him at all. I really didn't. But I felt like that was the right decision. And if we didn't make that decision, I wonder if the police wouldn't... Like, you know, I wonder if uh, Chief Brown would not, you know, give us dinner at the end of it and stuff. But I feel like I made the right decision. I feel like I did. You can tell me in the comments if I didn't or not. Uh... But I feel like I did. But anyways, everyone, I am going to end this video off right here. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like to let me know if you guys want to see Chapter 2. And uh, I can't wait. It'll be so much fun. And I'm so intrigued to see what happens next. So that being said, thank you all so much for watching. You guys are the best and only Assassination family on YouTube. Going big and growing strong. I love you all. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe to the Assassination family today. 
I'd be honored to have you on this 2020 journey with me. And the next series will be Marvel's Avengers, everyone. Starts freaking in two days. I'm excited. I got it three days early, and I'm going to start it uh, in two days because I have to do some other stuff with my family and uh, other plans. So I'm, I'm really excited for it. Oh, gosh. I can't wait to play as all the characters, especially Thor. I really loved playing as Thor in the intro and stuff. So, oh, man. I can't freaking wait. And with that being said, I'll see all of you guys and girls in the next video. And in the next series, Assassin4259, out. Allison was happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offering. Okay. That's good. I am glad about that. All right, Allison was delighted to solve the princess's riddle with her brother. Okay. Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust at the store. Good. Tyler sensed a rift between him and Allison when she sided with Eddie at the station. Tyler protected himself against Sam's aggression. I wonder if all this could have gone a different way. Oh, man. Tessa empathized with the twins about Marianne. Okay. Eddie felt validated by Allison's plea when she sided with him at the station. So I believe that was good. Continue. Are we going to get something what happens next? Like a little teaser? Oh, yeah, let's go. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Oh! Go big or go home. Oh! Oh, dang! Okay, they're gonna play dirty! Jeez! Oh, shoot! That's gonna be so freaking interesting. But alright, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Assassin4259, out.